Hello and welcome to Gabbit Media. In this video we're showing you how to paint with textures. So get really realistic um, images and textures for your models. Okay, so this is what we'll end up with. Uh, let's begin. So I've made this basic piece of wood here and we're going to texture it. We're going to texture it using real textures. So I'm going to go through setting up for painting very quickly because there's other videos about that. So here's a link how to set your object up to paint the textures. At the moment I'm just fast forwarding through this and we're ready to paint. Uh, so we need to come down to this section here called texture and we need to say add new. Good idea to label it so I'm going to call this wood brush one. I'm going to create two brushes so there's my wood brush one and then I come over to here which is this checker pattern here which are my textures and ask to look at wood brush one which is there. Now I can open it up Right, so you should see the texture here now. And what I need to do to see it in here is change this to stencil. And then you can see I've got this long piece of wood. You can right click on it to move it. Uh, right click and shift and it will scale it in and out like this. So it's the right size. And if you right click and press control, it will rotate. Okay, probably best to do this in orthographic mode. Um, and let's center around my object. There we go. And zoom in. Make my brush nice and big. And now start painting on. I'll change the strength as well. Start painting on. Okay, so it's not looking too bad already, but I'll show you some more techniques to make this look even better. So at the top, like I was suggesting, I'll turn my stencil off. Uh, you can see it's uh, not great. That's not really what those these logs look like. So I need to put another texture in here. So let's add a new one. Call it uh, wood end brush. And come over to my checkerboard. Uh, press open. And there's my wood end. Now I've got a wood end. I will get my stencil. If it comes out like this, you need to just ch change image aspect and it'll come out normal. Go to top view and start painting this on to the top like this. There we go. And hopefully this is going to look fantastic. Okay, so there's a bit of an issue with the colors there. So I need to sort of blend them in. And also there's some stretching happening here. So I need to uh, go over it again with my other brush. And you can change brushes by clicking on here and get your original brush. And make sure it's on stencil. Okay, so how can I make this look a bit better? So let's get rid of our texture. Uh, you can just press X there and it will disappear. They are still there, you can get them back like this, but I just don't want any textures for now. And I'm gonna paint on this so it looks even better. I know, it's hardly possible, isn't it? To look better than it is at the moment. So uh, let's change the whole mode. Let's go back to object mode, tools, and set it to smooth. And then go back to painting. Now we can't see the edges so well, that's great. And what I, what we find is that on the edges of the wood, just down the corners and things, uh, it's a lot lighter because that's where the um, air and people brush up against it, so the wood tends to be a bit lighter. So what we can do is go to here and the screen mode, there it is, screen does the same sort of thing as lighten, but um, you'll see what I mean in a second. Best to do this with a pen I find, if you've got a tablet use your pen and down the edges can you see the edge down here if I just lighten it up slightly maybe turn the um, the um, strength down turn the strength down a bit there and just go down there now you can see the edge is sort of coming out The other thing I might want to do is at the bottom, it'll probably be a bit darker. So we can change it to multiply. Uh, change your pen to actually, so it's actually dark, and then it will make it look darker like that. And there we go, not looking too bad. The only other thing I'd want to do now is tidy it up a little bit, because we've got some dents in here uh, that I would want to actually paint in myself. So I'd go to my mix brush, uh, get the color I need, I suppose in fact I could even use the multiply brush here 
and bring a brush down again and get in here. So that's the multiply brush, making those look a little bit better there. You could even then go to the lighten or the screen brush again, which I, oh, where's it gone? It's gone up here now. <laughs> and just highlight the edges that little bit. Oh, make sure you turn it to white when you use the screen. So there we go, reasonably good looking realistic textures in a short period of time. Hope that helped.